I describe him as a global figure. He's more than an artist in, in traditional forms with traditional mediums. He's really a figure that stands for China and really cares about China. Ai Weiwei is a big and complicated figure. He's China's most famous international artist, yet the authorities have taken his passport and censors prevent even his name from appearing on the internet there. Although we can't leave China, he's had exhibitions at the Tate Modern in London and the Smithsonian in Washington. In Princeton, his circle of animals, zodiac heads, is at the Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs. Ai Weiwei also uses social media as a democratic art form. He tweets and Instagrams for hours a day to hundreds of thousands of followers. And his take on the Gangnam Style video, containing a symbolic critique of Chinese censorship, went viral. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Larry Warsh put together a book of Ai Weiwei's sayings, many of them tweets, published in 2013 by Princeton University Press. It was important to put together his voice in a way that the average person, the regular person, who really is not an art person, is not a political person, can really just pick up a book and read this and go, wow, look what this guy's about, look what he's saying, look what he's trying to say, look what they're not letting him say, look why they put him away. So Weiweiisms is really about what is this guy about? What is he trying to say? How is he saying it? I think the sculptures look fantastic in Scudder Plaza. So I think from an artistic perspective, it's just very impressive to walk onto Scudder Plaza and to see the 12 zodiac heads. It's a little unusual to think of art and public policy as coming together. Um, and I'm really proud of the fact that we recognize public policy and the expression that goes with public policy comes in many different forms and shapes and forms. And so I, I particularly like that representation here at the Woodrow Wilson School. Ai Weiwei's circle of animals, one for each of the 12 years in the Chinese zodiac, is impressive and viewer friendly. But there is more going on than that. As with all of Ai Weiwei's work, questions are raised about China, its past and its present. As this clip from filmmaker Allison Clayman shows, Ai Weiwei created bigger than life-size versions from heads originally commissioned by a Qing Dynasty emperor. What do you do with the past? What do you do with what's become relics of the past? Do you value it? Is it important for the generation now? Is it important for tomorrow? I don't think that's national treasure. It's nothing to do with national treasure. It's designed by Italian and uh, made by French for a uh, Qing Dynasty emperor, which uh, actually is uh, somebody who invaded China. So uh, if we talk about national treasure and uh, which nation we talk about. Ai Weiwei is a renowned artist and his commitment to freedom of expression really resonates with our students um, who are themselves really committed to social media and um, they're themselves looking for ways to be involved and to advance public policy using these new media. He's become a voice where so many are afraid to speak. So many people who are put away and taken away who voice their opinions. He stands and really wants to say it like it is. Every day is a risk for him at any moment. Things could change for him as it did when he was detained. But he understands what is needed in China and he does his best as one man can do to really bring out a lot of these issues to the world.